Here we are again folks, no more Lake District, this time to sunny South Central France. There's over there, hello Claire. Hello. We've got a night stop over in Hyde tonight and an early crossing first thing in the morning. Emoj, here we come. Not to add, but um, I might have done in the other video, but this time we're going with Granddad and our daughter Leone and her boyfriend Jamie. And they are in the Mazda 6 in front of us. Uh, well, not in front of us anymore. Let's go and see if we can catch them up. Swan Hotel in Hive uh, for a night stop over before we board the ferry at quarter to seven in the morning over to Calais. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Twelve chins? <laughs> <laughs> familiar uh, familiar <laughs> sketchy people. Was it per night? Thirty four pounds a night. Bargain. So comfortable rooms. It's a bit faulty towers to be honest with you. I had to hold the shower head. The water wasn't that hot. Although you said it was alright, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, maybe it was just me. So big push tomorrow. Down to Amboise, which is near Tours. So I think the route we'll be taking is A16 out of Calais towards Boulogne, all the way down to Rouen where we'll pick up the A28 and then we'll go down the South Toll Road towards Le Mans. Time for some sleep. So we're uh, standing on the uh, back of the ship. Jamie's the captain. Hi. 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 Leonie. That'd be a bit worrying, wouldn't it? Granddad's rocking. <laughs> Claire, over there, is feeling rough. So we've just left the A16. And we're now on the A28, heading toward Rouen. So the first toll was... Eight euros and ten. Eight euros and ten. There you go, first. First expense on the toll. Still on the A28, this is one of the longest tolls that we'll use to uh, get down to Limoges. <clears throat> so we've gone round the outskirts of, uh, let's turn this off. We've gone round the outskirts of Le Mans. And now we're um, heading toward Tours. That should be about an hour now, so it's Nearly 20 to 5 in the evening, and considering we got up 12 hours ago to cross over, it's been a long day travelling. So, again, as you know, we book nothing. So, what we'll do is we'll get the other side of tours, I'll then come off this main toll, and then we'll start exploring the countryside to find a uh, campsite for the night. So, that Long toll was thirty-seven pound seventy. No, thirty-seven euros. And where are we? We're just 
just south of Tours, aren't we? Yeah, in a place I can't pronounce. In a place we can't pronounce. Vene? 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 V-E-I-G-N-E. So this is our setup for the one evening. We're not staying long, so we'll be here for the one night. A nice good place to stop off, quite close to the A20 as well. So the only in Jay's tent, granddad's tent, and we'll stay in the camper tonight. So we've left our campsite just south of Tours and we're now heading down south on the A10 toward Poitiers. And then we'll start uh, cutting across country and making our way to Lac Saint Pardo. So we've made it to Lac St. Pardo. We arrived yesterday to glorious blue skies and sunshine. A bit of a ski competition going on over there. This has uh, been nice to watch. Granddad's had a little watch of it. We've seen him zooming up and down the lake. So this is a setup. Hugo safely behind us. We've not used him for this particular part of the holiday. Got Granddad's little dome tent here. And as we walk around this way on our plot from the on our plot here. Leonia's and Jamie's tents down there. Little sitting area. And our main tent. There's a bit of a state at the moment, isn't it, Grandad? Yeah. And then there's a main tent here and a setup, a bit messy in this corner here. But the kettle's on over there, the fridge. And then we've got a berth. See a berth there, big berth there, and another berth there. So each side pod's double. And the one in the middle is a four, which we just use for ourselves. So we come for a little walk to the region called Santrop and the Lac Saint Pardo and it's very nice more touristy busier than where we are right in. hang on a minute where are you going off so fast So we are now in the middle of the lake at St. Pardo and we launched from just over there somewhere and that's called Sandtrop. So anyone in the area who wants something a bit busier to do or something more to do, boat hire, there's a big swimming pool complex over there and somewhere over the back is another campsite I believe. Also at the top is a um, camping de air for camping cars. So if you're lucky enough to own a big motorhome, you can park up there for free and have this on your doorstep. So yeah, it's nice. So we're just back from Limoges Decathlon and Grandad's 
going for a change of tent because that one is too small, we can't stand in it. I think it's just jealous because we've got a much bigger one. That thing, nine foot headroom. So now, construction time again. Isn't that right? That's fine. New, new tent. New tent. Bit of legroom, bit of headroom. Let's see how we get on. as well while he was asleep. <laughs> Made as well chuffed with that when he woke up this morning. Christened his new tent. Happy 75th. So it's granddad's birthday. Yeah. of La Souterraine. And we're off to see our friends, Phil and Cheryl. I like the wall, Dad. Have you seen the wall? We've got a wall there that's painted on it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely stunning. Well worth a little visit. There's not loads and loads here. As we only said, it's a nice uh, painting just there, inside of the wall. A few little shops. Just, where's it gone? Just up the top there, there's a lovely crepery. Which is gorgeous. This isn't the first time me and Claire have been here. Been here in the 300 and in the van last year. Nice. And this is, is this the Carrez? Uh, Carrez. Ah, this is in the Carouse, not the Carrez. Yeah, worth a visit if you're in the area. So we're here again. And Cheryl feels gorgeous house, and I think. So just done us a lovely uh, barbecue for Dad's birthday. And I think they're about to bring the cake out. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daddy. Happy birthday to you. There's not quite so many to blow out. coming back. There does. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh. So Camp Black St. Pardo Freyador. What would you give it out of 10? Probably an 8 overall. So an 8 overall. And why not a 9 or a 10? I don't think there's enough facilities um, of an evening. Yeah. Um, and 
the bathroom and the washing facilities and everything a little bit on top of each other. But otherwise, it's nice. Yeah, so location-wise, it's stunning. Access to the lake is a 50 metre walk up the end of the path. There's a man-made beach, a sandy beach there. Great for building sand castles, as what a couple of kids do the other day. The campsite is absolutely peaceful. There's no noise past 11 o'clock at night. The facilities are a little run down. The toilets are clean and they're clean four times a day, with the sh along with the showers. But they're a bit dated. There's no wash basins in the toilet, so you have to come out the toilet block into the shower block to wash your hands, which is often put into uh, some. I'd definitely use the campsite again though. And if you're going further south, this is a great overnight stop. You're really close to the A20, which runs from Limoges through Limoges all the way down to Toulouse around to Narbonne, Pepion area. So yeah, overall the campsite's really good. Could do with updating certain areas. And there you go.